Kevin Klang is one of my favorite people. He is the Rosencrantz to my Guildenstern, only we're not dead, um, and our parts are actually quite a bit bigger. He's a very handsome young man. We both wear eyeglasses. <laughs> And we get along really well whenever we argue or anything. He's a great lead actor. And we love each other the most always. He loves to eat. Kevin loves to eat. And Jeannie loves to cook. So Jeannie cooks and Kevin eats. And it's a perfect match. <laughs> Louisiana food and gumbo, that's, that was our first connection. Because he loves Louisiana. He loves the culture down there. He loves the food. Kevin Kling is a very nice person. Kind and caring. Thoughtful. He's also a great actor, in my opinion. What is a story but a place in time told in another place in time? Oh, and you picked the best time to be here, for this is the Feast of Fools! Kevin was involved for um, touring uh, many countries and states with an uh, in interact group. Being with him, he's generous and nice. He because his friend, my my colleague, he different plays like Kakukulan. He is a very adventurous type person. He likes to dance. He likes to sing. You know, he got the rhythm going. Kevin is an epic clown. He's the absolute crazy nut that we need today. He's one of the most generous, thoughtful, and um, open collaborators you could ever possibly wish for. I'm Hephaestus, son of Hera. Well, Hephaestus? No, Hephaestus. Asbestos? Uh, no, Hephaestus. Hephaestus? No, Hephaestus. Well, no. Sometimes performing with great people like that is, is like a really good game of catch. And you throw him a ball, you don't think he's gonna catch, but he does. And when he throws something back at you, um, it's, the per it's the perfect throw. I'm flawed, and so my mother Hera threw me off Mount Olympus. Wow, I know what that's like to be flawed. I was born with a nipple instead of a belly button. Oh, oh my me! Yeah, check oh, it out again, oh, bam! God. Yeah, I call it my bipple. Oh. He has a brain injury also, so um, um, we can kind of like we understand each other. There's the trip you plan, and then there's the trip you take. And you can pack just right, you get out your maps, but sooner or later you got to give in to the trip. You got to give in to the journey. He's got a good outlook on life, and he's very um, charismatic. He who knows his inner self knows the outer world as well. He who knows the outer world knows his inner self as well. So we decided to do th this uh, play based on the book called The Worldwide Church of the Handicap that shows all of the competition between the different disability groups. Kevin, he was a hunchback leper who was the pre kind of the preacher of the Worldwide Church of the Handicap. He was not the funny Kevin, he was the kind of the scary, grotesque Kevin. Your eyes are really blind and your ears are really deaf and your bodies and arms, they're really broken. It's a tough message, but you have to take it straight or not at all. I mean, you either get it or you don't. It was an amazing role. Kevin is warm and genuine and authentic. I love working with him. When you have a conversation with him, he brings a sense of community. You're instantly a part of his group. He's that very unusual mixture of just the guy next door, a philosopher, a clown, and a poet. What's extremely rare about that combination is he's very humble. He's very humble. He's totally impressed by himself, but, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and he's tough-skinned, and uh, he helps me out, he supports my acting self and personal self, too. Nice guy, sad, bad boy. <laughs> Kevin is a wonder. He is wonderful. Kevin Kling is one of the greatest proofs that you can be 
mentally or physically disabled and still have a career in the entertainment industry. Hello, welcome to the other world for Christian Press One. becomes lively and funny and deep and moving and people laugh and cry when Kevin talks. It's wonderful. He's always in a good mood. He's always talkative. He talks a lot. And he knows how to tell stories. He knows, he knows, he knows how to use words. When you write with Kevin, uh, when you're a co-writer, what truly what it means is you just get to sit back and you get to watch Kevin's process. He sculpts words in such a way that they become essential. He would submit a page or two of a scene, I'd read it, and I'd say, great, okay, don't change it. It's, the, it's some of the greatest things I've ever read. I'm so glad I'm helping. He's probably one of the most positive, likable, and sincere people I've ever met and that is kind of why I know that people love him. Everybody loves Kevin, but I really love Kevin. One day he likes to rock, or he rocks wonder why. He's my friend. To be or not to be, that's my Kevin Kling. Mm. So listen to the bird when it flies or sings. For if we weren't meant to join them, why were we born with wings? <laughs>